What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another one. And today, it was supposed to be a crappy weather, full of rain day in Ohio. And it turned into a bluebird sky, 80. It is awesome out. And there are fish on beds now. Seems crazy. Pretty spun with like that. But we're going to try and sight fish some fish off beds and go catch them shallow. Stick with us. Stay tuned. Editing Owen here, chilling in his room. Uh, I have my apologies for the wind. It's, uh, I don't know. Should be fine. I mean, you can still hear me. It's just a little annoying. I don't know. It gets on my nerves. It gets bad at some points, but it's usually okay. The mic port on the GoPro broke, so if I want to fix this, I'll have to buy a new GoPro, but I'm broke, so oh well. I'm actually kind of proud of this setup, but anyways, there's a fish on bed right there next to that white thing. That's its bed. But we're going to be fishing out of the back of the truck here, trying to get down there. We'll see how it goes. So loose. Stay down, buddy. Don't jump. There we go. Think about that, pup. Huh? Much about a fish. There we go. Well, bed fishing didn't really pan out for us how we wanted it to. So, you know, the fish are there. They're they're pretty much, I'd say they're pretty much locked on, at least in this pond. I don't know how the other ponds are, but I don't know. It was also a pretty dumb move to wear whites, but we're, uh, we're gonna, instead of wasting our time here, we are gonna go head to another pond, see if we can put something together there, possibly. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be bed fish there, but you know, when in doubt, Throw the chatter dong. We'll see how it goes. That was sweet. I twitched it right at the bank and then he smoked it. Which means, I'm gonna guess he was following it and then he, oh, he's peeing. Oh, go get him, Rick. Yeah, there you go. Nonetheless, we are on the board at this pond. Saw a little fish right at the bank. See you, bye.
I know you guys saw that. That was right in front of our faces. best fish so far today right at the bank oh yeah awesome Look how fat he is pretty hard for your size but hey that's a chunk nonetheless nice two and a half right there going back Holy football. Oh my. You guys. See, I don't know how to, literally the width of my fist. That might be one of the fattest bass I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. day and never mind two and a half but he is fat and he has shoulders popped right out that is a nice fish right there get the release see you later buddy all right well you guys saw us catch some decent fish out of those other two ponds but now we're heading to another spot where there's also some more chunks so chatterbait's working as is i don't see another reason to not stick with it i'm trying to get rid of the farmer's tan don't judge but i don't know there were there was one fish bedded up i think pretty locked on the others were just cruising super clear water i'm pretty sure they could see me good tip if you're gonna go bed fishing don't wear white i feel like an idiot now because i remember i realized that about halfway through but anyways going back to another pond i went to I believe it was one or two videos ago probably two or three actually I don't know. We fished a little bit of it, left a lot of it unfished. We're gonna go fish it. Stick with us. All right, back where we started. Let's see if we can get these fish to bite now or we just fish chatterbait.
Ooh. Finally. Finally. After working that fish for two days now, finally caught ourselves a bed fish. How about that? The white bizbaits cutter crawl coming in clutch. I could see exactly when that fish bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a bed fish. I'm gonna let her go right back where she came from and she can get back on that bed. There we go. Mission success. Bingo. Little guy. Fish nonetheless. Absolutely smoked it. See you, bye. Feels like a little bit better one. It is a little bit better one. There we go. This one's about a pound and a half. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys real quick what we were using today because these two baits got it done. First up, I had a LBA Baits Shadillac, black and blue, paired up with Blue Rock Custom Tackle. I believe this is a 3 8 sounds Echo Vibrating Jig, just through Chatterbait. Absolute money. Tied tail. Beat the crap out of these. They work all the time. And then the Biz Baits Cutter Craw in white. Awesome little color because you can see it on the bed. Half ounce pegged weight, pegged weight. Keeps that weight down and keeps it with the bait. Keeps it in the bed so it's not like floating around. Anyways, I like my weights pegged, but those are the two baits I got it done. And just another tip, it is super important that you guys release bed fish that you catch back on their bed because I'm looking down here now and that fish is already back there. And if you don't, they won't be able to go back to their bed and then the bluegill eat all their eggs and you don't have any more bass but if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you smash the thumbs up button i got i got bass thumb galore here like that. yeah that's good stuff but follow me on instagram at okay bass and appreciate you guys watching leave a thumbs up we'll see you guys on the next one see ya